Hi guys, it's Ken. Greetings to you and to yours, and happy Monday from a place called Rock and Roll Heaven. Okay. I've been living in the Orlando area for a very, very long time, and I remember coming here as a kid, well, not so much as a kid, more of as a teen, buying used CDs and used cassette tapes way back in the day. Now I'm here buying some records, well, at least just one record for today. The story goes, I was sitting in my car wondering, well, what can I do for a New Music Monday? And I've been itching, I've been itching to come here to check out the record selection and see what they have to offer. So I thought this would be a nice day and you can check out the scenes here. This is actually quite a cool part of Orlando. There's a lot of cool little art galleries and little mom and pop coffee places antique shops including the old rock and roll heaven like I said I've been coming here for quite some time never to buy records but today I am so let's get inside I'll chat with you a little bit about what I bought so the only downfall to today's new music Monday is that I'm not going to be actually playing any music okay I'm going to play the music I bought today tomorrow but I want to give you a little bit of a history lesson a little kind of walk down memory lane if you will the record I bought was a guy named Hoyt Axton Okay, and there he is. There's Hoyt. Okay, now what makes Hoyt Axton so unique to my childhood is I remember growing up in the 1970s. I was born in 71, so I grew up listening to my father and my mother in our living room. I remember lying down on a big rug in the middle of our, of our living room and my father playing Steely Dan music and um, uh, Elton John. The Who, The Doors, all that kind of cool music. And most of that music I really wasn't into. I didn't really understand The Doors. I didn't really understand the music. It was way above my head. I was just a little bitty guy, probably four or five. But he promised me he would play the Hoyt Axton record. And I'll show you why. You see, to a kid, song titles such as Bony Fingers and my personal favorite, where is it? It's here somewhere. There it goes. The Pet Parade. To me, those were funny stories. Those were funny songs. And I remember lying, like I said, in the middle of the living room with this, with this wonderful big picture and all of these lyrics. I remember hearing the music over and over again and following along with my finger to all the cool words um, and all the imagery that was in the songs. You know, when a song is playing, you don't you kind of put your own little pictures together in your mind of what was going on in the story. I have, you know, envisioned all these little pets in a big parade. It was really cool stuff. So I thought I'd come here and check it out. I know I do a lot of my searching for records at garage sales and rummage sales and thrift stores, but I can't imagine I would stumble across something so specific. So I came here to Rock and Roll Heaven today with the hope of finding it, and I found it. So hopefully sometime very soon, maybe even tomorrow, you and I can get together and I'll spin this on the record and you can hear Pet Parade for yourself if you like it. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go right here so I can hop on the road and head home, see what Bridget's doing. Have a great night, whatever it is you're doing. Thank you as always for tuning in, for watching and subscribing and sharing my videos. On behalf of myself and Mr. Hoyt Axton, he says, thanks everyone for tuning in. Bye.